Alexis Sunshine 83, it's always sunny here. Boop. Hey Sunshiners, Alexis Sunshine 83 right here. Hello, hello, happy sunny Sunday. Woo! Oh my goodness, I got my girl Carrie back. Hey, matching <laughs> shirt. <laughs> we 100% plan yes. this. So today I'm very excited because I've seen a lot of a trend where people are going to like the lowest rated nail salons, the lowest rated like hair salons, and I thought it'd be really interesting to go to the lowest rated Goodwill. Now, I do have to say, in Southern California, there was only like two Goodwills that had two and a half stars. I could not find one that just had one star. Technically, it is the lowest rated Goodwill in Southern California. Oh, I was gonna read like the reviews of it. Oh I yeah. I gotta download the Yelp app. Oh dang it, <laughs> I know, I hate this that. Like, I gotta... Instead of being to the year 3000. And another reason why I want to do this is because so many people do comment and they're like, my thrift stores suck, I can't buy secondhand because all of them are awful. And I really wanna show that even if you literally go to one of the worst thrift stores, you can still find Hopefully, I mean, I guess we'll kind of see. Ew. Hopefully you can actually find at least one thing. Now I have been to this Goodwill, I think twice, and I avoid it like the plague. Every single time I had gone, I just, it was awful. I haven't been here in a year and a half. Apparently to the reviews, they haven't gotten better. This one also has the most reviews. So I figured because it still was the lowest and had the most that it would for a reason be bad oh wow <laughs> it seems to me like it's all depending on like the cashiers yeah. and how the bathrooms are any goodwill you go to it could it's like a toss-up it could yeah. be good it could be bad someone said that they couldn't have emotional support dogs and that they called the police oh okay. the staff is rude sometimes another one says very unorganized looks like nothing gets cleaned up goodwill is out of control with their prices oh they're so fortunate to have a great location which actually the location i mean i was expecting like totally different yeah we're like i'm going to we're going to a two-star goodwill and like <laughs> it's nice ray c says this by far has the worst customer service oh my god oh so oh no she gave me this b face and wants to hurry me up and decided i end up not getting anything and i never leave empty-handed to any goodwill the nice part is it seems like this goodwill is actually replying to all the mean comments oh really yeah and being like oh like i'm so sorry we are going right when they open mm -hmm. so i'm hoping that then i'll be kind of organized can't wait let's do this right outside we're actually pretty lucky it's supposed to rain for the next week so we got some it's a good day so it's like i don't even know where to start i don't either because it's very tiny yeah so i think what i'm going to do is i'm first going to start in the guys section and look at the t-shirts because like that's usually what I thrift and I want to see if they have any good t-shirts or to see if I can even find just like one good graphic tee or something like that. They don't have that many t-shirts though, so. I guess the biggest thing is like, I have to step outside my comfort zone to really see if I can find at least something, but I'm just gonna go into every single section and keep an open mind. A shirt, a french fries. I think I'm gonna go take a look at the jeans. They really didn't have any t-shirts or anything. So, let's see. I never usually go into the jeans at, at Goodwill, but high hopes. Oh, we got some Levi's. These ones are $8.99. Now that could be like seen as a little bit of expensive, but I usually can thrift jeans for like four or five dollars. So I am seeing that they are, I don't know, they're normal Goodwill prices to be honest. Oh, we got some Wrangler jeans and some more Wrangler. I wish these would fit, but I think they'd be a little bit too big. So I didn't really find anything in the jeans. None of them like they were all like 35, 36 size and a little bit too loose in the waist area. So guy section wise, not like the best. I'm kind of striking out. Yeah, same. Oh, oh. Oh yes. I also thought it was really interesting in your video that you said that Sabres is cheaper because where I live, Sabres is way more expensive. Oh really? Like you can find like, you know, 
like an Adidas t-shirt and it would be like $15.99. Oh, oh no. At like most savers except for the Yorba Linda one <laughs> is like, like the shirts are usually, honestly the t-shirts are usually $2. If it's an Adidas shirt, it's probably five or seven. Yeah. Fabulous. Oh my gosh. This is kind of cute. It's from Forever 21. It's like velvet. So this is $5.99. It's all right. I'm not super into peach, but. There's definitely like more girl clothes, which like, I don't know if it's just that girls have so many clothes and they donate, but I feel like most Goodwills and most thrift stores I go to, oh, Levi's, they usually have like an abundance of girl clothes. It's not as many guy clothes. This one is kind of cute. It's like a cardigan. I think that's cute. This one would be $6.49. That's kind of terrifying. hoping to find like overalls but I didn't yet. Some Calvin Klein jeans. These ones would be like eight dollars. hitting me like the goodwill is getting to me where I'm like I mean I found stuff but I mean not a bunch <laughs> Calvin Klein jeans actually I've found a lot Calvin how much Klein. are they um $6.99 well, that's good I was <laughs> saying I didn't realize like how spoiled I am at my goodwills because there's carts everywhere and I didn't realize like how much I relied on it I think almost all the Goodwills I've been to, except for like one, ha doesn't have carts. Like I'm oh. pretty much used to having to put my camera on the ground, having to like put clothes on top of my body to like hold. Okay, so technically I did find some overalls. Yeah, so I mean, they are overalls. So I did find some, I did find some. You're right. Okay, we're in the dressing room. Got my stuff right there. And then I did have this dress, but it, I don't know if you can see it on camera, but there's like a really big, sweat stain on it so this is the first thing that i have it is 6.49 and it's just like a plain sweatshirt with like buttons it does have pockets on the side which i think is cute it's like a charcoal um and like the thing is i always wear sweatshirts so i definitely would wear this like the button i actually think it's pretty like interesting it's a little bit different uh, i just wish it was like three dollars instead but it's the manhattan shirt okay the head hole is quite small this is the seattle shirt it's actually really cute i just don't think i would wear it as Are often you video, Alexa? yeah oh. i've been listening so i'm actually like kind of surprised with this one i didn't think i was gonna like it as much as i do it is a little bit tight it is a small and i would have to wear like a white bra or something like that but i just think it looks kind of cute then we got the striped shirt it's okay like amazing the fabric is definitely worn so i'm not in love with it but yeah so i got the ones that fit i'm still kind of like iffy about i think i'm gonna go back out take a look do another round i know what to expect and kind of what's out there um and just see so i did find a denim jacket it is a little bit of a darker color it's like a dark blue i don't think i like i don't know i just don't even know how to pair this with anything um it's like ten dollars i don't know i can't decide like what color denim do i wear it with this is pretty fun how would i even wear this i am just like not stylish at all cheers <laughs> 
<laughs> the amount of times I've dropped this camera, and at first it goes crazy. It's like all blurry. I'll like show you later what it looked like, and then it's fine. <laughs> And I don't need a bag. I'm all good. Yeah. It's 26. It's like really nice out. Okay, we are all done. I actually. Yeah, so I would say honestly, number one, because that's the biggest thing, is the staff. I think the staff was actually quite nice. Everyone was so nice. Yeah. Also, the dressing rooms were really clean. Like and so big. <laughs> would honestly give this probably like a four out of five. The, the selection is kind of iffy. Um, I mean, that just depends on where the actual Goodwill is located and what kind of people are donating, what their style is. And also, I think one really great part about this is you're seeing it from two different perspectives. So for me, I didn't find like that much, whereas Carrie found so much. Obviously, the only thrift store by you isn't the best. Keep an open mind. Again, I found three things. I mean, mm -hmm. and keep going back too. Yeah. Like, there will be more yeah. stuff, like, the more you go. Yeah. And it's interesting too because in our last video together, when we went to the Rose Bowl flea market, you found a ton of stuff, and I only found like maybe three or four things. So, it like, it just goes to show that, like, each time it's different for each person. Alrighty. So, I am going to show you guys what I got, and I'm going to insert like try on portions and all that jazz. Um, I only found three things, which again, I think is still pretty good and every single thing I do really like and that was the hardest thing is I felt like I needed to almost prove something like I can find stuff you don't always have to get the most amount of stuff and I think that that's something that we've kind of come yeah. around on gonna be a different scenario each time like you're yeah. not always gonna walk out with a handful of clothes like I have today a hundred percent I ended up spending $27 which I think is still pretty good I would have to say the prices are more expensive. The first thing is um, a denim jacket. And like I said, when I was kind of trying it on, it's a different wash. I don't own anything with this wash. I have no idea what other denim to pair with it. Maybe like black, I I don't know. Because it fits so well, I was like, yeah, I, I definitely like just needed to it's really cute. get it. A company called Denizen. I think that's either Target Denizen. or Walmart. Yeah. Um, and it is in a large, ended up coming to $9.99, which I think is like, it's okay, it's not a bulky denim jacket. It definitely is a more like soft material. It has a very interesting smell. I've had this smell on multiple thrifted items. It's almost like a spray mm. that I think they spray on because maybe it smelled the worst. Now there is gonna be a video uh, that Carrie and I also filmed that I feel like was inspired by that because she had me kind of step outside my comfort zone and it is this blazer it is kind of like a like leopard print yeah. cheetah print um blazer so cute it's a very soft almost not suede but like a velvet almost again no idea how to pair this i think this with a harley davidson shirt i think it could definitely like be a look with some doc martens like i, I, I have a jeans, whole idea yeah. it's originally from a company called marshall russo and it is in a small i would say it more fits like a medium but i really like it Yay. if it was $9.99 as well. All their jackets were roughly like $10, which is pretty normal for any Goodwill that I've personally been to. Then I just got a plain sweatshirt. Pretty nice and easy. I will wear it. Has pockets on the side and then it has like this button up. It is from a company called Levon Sports and it is in a medium, um, but I definitely could say I can like tuck it in and wear it with one of my high-waisted jeans and have it still look cute and nice and comfy. This one was $6.49, which like, mm, I like it, it's okay. I will definitely wear it. And I don't have any sweatshirts this color, so. But yeah, I definitely feel very good about this. If you guys wanna see what Carrie got, which I'm very interested to see what she got, <laughs> head on over to her channel, check her out. I will leave it right down below and also in the little eye. If you do like thrifting videos, thrift calls, thrifting with me's, make sure that subscribe right down below and hit that little bell to be notified every time I make a new video. Also, don't forget to follow me on Instagram and Twitter, AlexSunshine83, <laughs> and I'll see you guys on Wednesday with a brand new video. Enjoy life, be happy, and I love you lots. Bye. Bye. I did the last part with you. Perfect. <laughs>